Hi, I'm Dean Sprager, CEO of Medical Fitness Solutions. We understand that many of you have been isolated in your homes, but that's no reason not to exercise. We're going to share with you a workout regimen that we've used in over a thousand long-term care facilities over the years with proven effective outcomes. We're going to emulate these movements in your home to make sure you stay well during this crisis. The first exercise we implement in our program is a leg press and the leg press is used to strengthen quadriceps and gluteals to make it easier to get in and out of chairs on and off the bed on and off a commode or a toilet so a simple way to emulate this leg press is out of a kitchen chair so if you've got the strength to lean forward and stand up Let's make an exercise regime out of this where we'll do this slowly eight to 10 times. The key here is keeping tension on the muscle. And typically this exercise, the eight to 10 repetition should take you about a minute to complete. I find it useful to have a timer and set it for a minute and do this exercise for a minute. Now, if you're unable to do that, you can use any sort of support as well to support yourself into the down position and then to assist yourself back up. Another option in the leg press is using the back of a chair if it's good and stable and bending at the knees, keeping a good lordosis of the back, keeping your back straight and doing the exercise in this manner. So let's move forward to the next exercise. So typically in a clinical environment, we'll do the mid-row exercise for scapular abduction to open up the thoracic cavity. And there's a couple ways we can do that in the home. One is from a seated position at the edge of the chair. If you've got little dumbbells, you can use these. Pinching the shoulder blades together in the back and keeping your shoulders low. Drop your shoulders and squeeze your scapula together. If you're fortunate enough to have some exercise bands, we can use those as well. We can attach those to a bed post or any stable surface in the home. And we can exercise by pulling the elbows and arms back, extended, and then back. And the cadence is going to be similar to what we did with the leg press. We're going to go slow and controlled, we're going to keep tension on the muscle and we're going to try to do this for a complete minute. Now, if you need to get uh, creative within the home, if you don't have dumbbells or bands, we can use refillable type of, of containers, milk cartons. This happens to be mop and glow, but when they're empty, you can fill them with, with any uh, really level of water. Water weighs eight and a quarter, eight and a third pounds a, a gallon. So you can adjust that load and still do similar type of exercises with kind of the ad hoc way of, of creating resistance. The next exercise is triceps dip. And this exercise clinically will use this device and it, it allows individuals to get out of chairs easier, on and off of beds again, unloads the spine, and strengthens pectorals and triceps as well. Now without this machine, there's a couple ways to accomplish that. One is if we have the bands available, the dumbbells, or the, uh, the empty containers. We can, as opposed to when we were doing the mid rows, this time we keep our elbows in and we drop our hands down. Same cadence as we were using before. If you're using one of the ad hoc methods, we want to lean forward a bit, keep our elbows at our side, and extend backwards. Same cadence, we want to go a minute to occlude and isolate that musculature. The next exercise, which is um, a little difficult to emulate, is the back extension because we want to do, if, if you've got a, a stool or something at home, it's better to have your knees above your hips 
that better isolates a rector spinae. But if you can't, again, the ad hoc position toward the end of the chair, if you can tolerate the weights, use the weights as, as shown before, and extend as much as you can backwards, and then forward again with the weights. You can do something very similar again with the bands with resistance, and pull those bands, and isolate that erector spinae as best you can. Again, a better position is with the knees above the hip, but we can isolate and include in that direction as well. The last two exercises we typically have in our foundation for older folks are neck flexion and extension. And since we don't have the machines at home, we can practice some manual exercise. So forward flexion and not tilting the head remarkably forward, but resistance either one hand or the other, you can create resistance, a little bit of movement, relax, keep the resistance against the head, and continue that pace and cadence, just like you were for the other exercises. This is gonna get sternocleidomastoids, the front of the neck. And then to work on, on the paraspinals as well, We'll do is we'll turn the head to one side, we'll put a little resistance, and we'll pull comfortably. Same cadence. In one direction. And then the other. A good final way to spend a minute to, to wrap up this exercise regimen is a good cervical stretch and we can do this by pushing our chin in a little bit pretending there's a string on the back of our head and stretch the cervical musculature here and again hold that for about a minute and those basic exercises should help you weather the storm here and keep you healthy in your homes